Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you today about Horrified, a game I love. It's one of my favorite light games. I'm a big sucker for the Universal Monster movies of the 1930s and 40s, and this game really captures the theme well. So this game uh, comes with some very nice components on their own, but I have found an interesting way to bling this one out with a little help from eBay. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here are the components that come with the game. We have Dracula, the Wolfman, Frankenstein's monster, the Bride of Frankenstein, the Mummy, the Gill Man, a.k.a. the Creature from the Black Lagoon, and the Invisible Man. Nothing wrong with any of these pieces. They're perfectly fine little plastic miniatures, but I got an idea from Instagram on using Funko Pops to upgrade these components, and here's what I did. All right, here are Funko Pops for the Universal Monsters, which I use when I play Horrified now. You can get these in color, but they have a black and white variant, which I think works a little more thematically for the purposes of this game. So let's uh, show you Dracula here. Very nice. As you see, these all stand up very easily. So Dracula, we have uh, the Wolfman, and he's here handsome fellow. Very nice. It looks like his eyes follow you when you move around. I kind of like that. Let's drag the fell over. Okay. Frankenstein and his bride will move these out as a pair since uh, they really are meant to go together. And again, none of these were very expensive. A few dollars each. I think the only one that costs more than uh, a couple of dollars was, I think it was the Invisible Man was a little bit more. I think he was rarer. But this was not uh, a particularly expensive upgrade. We have the Mummy. I wish there was a Mummy that had a little bit more of a classic look with uh, the full bandages, no eyes visible, or just... He's the only one where I don't really love the look of him. I don't think that's a great sculpting. But still cool, still cool. Gilman, AKA the creature from the Black Lagoon. He's a, he's a pretty cool looking fellow. Yeah. And lastly, of course, the Invisible Man over here, played by the amazing Claude Rains in the 1940s film. He was the only one that was a little bit more expensive. I think he might have been around 20 or 25 bucks for him. But as I said, all the rest of the figures were, were only a, a few dollars each. And I got most of these on eBay. Um, you might be able to find them on other sites like Amazon and, uh, and places like that. So that was what I did to make Horrified uh, very much more fun and atmospheric to me. All of these figures stand up just fine. They fit on the board just fine. And the only other thing I did to kind of bling my collection was basically sleeving the cards here. These are just generic, you know, nothing fancy about the, the card sleeves. But I like sleeving my cards when possible. And I just think this is an amazing game, not just for Halloween, but for any time of the year. I think it's really wonderful, very light, and yet atmospheric enough that uh, I just don't get tired of playing it. So those are my horrified upgrades, and uh, maybe we'll do a video later on the game itself. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. The Invisible Man really wants you to do that. Oh, and a quick case in point here, I do have uh, a few others. I don't use these for the games. They're still in packaging, but uh, Frankenstein's Monster. This is what I'm talking about, the mummy. I love this sculpt more than the Funko one, but I'm not going to open it to use him. I don't even think he'll stand up. <laughs> and I have the wolf man here. So I do have a few others. I have a Phantom of the Opera somewhere, but I can't immediately lay my hands on it. I'm not quite sure where it is, but there is a fan-made Phantom of the Opera monster uh, on BGG, and uh, I downloaded that and I bought the Phantom of the Opera Funko Pop to use for that monster as well. And I just wish I could, uh, I wish I knew where it was right this second, but maybe in a future video. Thanks.